Filling in the gap between episodes 3, Revenge of the Sith, and 4, A New Hope, we are here discussing the Rebels Magazine comic strip, Secrets of Sinar. Secrets of Sinar, by Martin Fisher and Eva Weiderman, is featured in the seventh issue of the U.S. publication of the Rebels Magazine. If we presume that the comics in the Rebels Magazine occur in chronological order, then this comic takes place between seasons 1 and 2 of Star Wars Rebels. Kanan and Zeb have broken into a Sinar Systems factory on the planet Abzans. Sneaking around in the dark, they are looking for intel on the Empire's latest weapons and ship updates. As the lights come on in the facility, the pair hide as they avoid a man in a jumpsuit looking around as if he heard something. Kanan realizes that this individual is Drawn Rawl, one of Sinar System's leading designers. Kanan has intentions to take Drawn with him to learn all the key intel they need to slow down the Empire. They got slowed down by a pair of stormtroopers, but as they escaped, they noticed a much larger contingent of troopers heading into the facility. They call the ghost for help. Hera is concerned that the Empire will do anything to get back Drawn and keep him. Also, the large number of troopers closing in on their position is too much even for the ghost to handle. Kanan seems to have an idea, and Zeb has decided to go along with the plan. The stormtroopers approach their position, but Zeb and Kanan manage to fight them off. Drawn finds an opening and tries to run for help, but Zeb runs after him and captures him, while Kanan goes and commandeers an Imperial shuttle. Zeb jumps up on the boarding ramp of the shuttle, just in time as Kanan takes off. They are not in the air long before an Imperial gunship finds them and starts firing. Drawn gets knocked out of the loading door, but Zeb manages to grab hold of him. Drawn tries to get Zeb to let him go. The argument he makes is that many more innocent people will die in the Empire's quest to find him, and that was enough to sway Zeb into releasing him. Kanan was disappointed at the apparent failure, but ultimately he realizes that this was perhaps the best outcome. More harm would have come to them and others had they successfully kidnapped this man, and they don't want anything like that to happen to their team again. By again, they seem to be referencing Kanan's capture at the end of Season 1. This is a cool story as we see the crew of the Ghost go beyond helping themselves and their planet to being involved in a more large-scale rebellion that is growing throughout the galaxy. It shows us that Kanan is fallible, and as well as exploring more of Zeb's moral code, willing to do what he thinks is best, whether it is what was ordered or not. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with all the insight and analysis found here at Star Wars The Canon Explained. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Leave your comments and questions about this story or any element of the Star Wars canon below. Till next time, may the Force be with you.